So I'm having a little bit of a look at Abraham Hicks's book, The Vortex, and I want to talk to you a little bit about this little passage that I've read, because some of you actually email me about themes like this. Here it goes. When you want to be joyful, and you remember that your joy is not dependent upon the behaviours of others, and you consistently look for that good feeling subject to use as a chronic point of focus, all desires and subjects will be satisfied. Meaning, when you're in the joyful vibration and the emotions are in the joy, you will manifest what you want anyway. Even if what you're surrounded by is not joyful at all, is difficult, is problematic. Here's an example. So if you're going through a really difficult court situation or a difficult financial situation or a difficult health situation, and you want to manifest something beyond that that's in line with what you desire and you need to keep it up in the joy and the freedom and the hope of the violet and the white on the chart so we get a lot of this is what we need to do in our law of attraction books but what we need to know is how can we get our vibration up so this is what i would say to get to the joy from the place you're at even if you're around a whole heap of debris Look at the debris you're around that you want to shift out of or change and say to yourself, when you look at the chart of emotions, how do I feel about that situation right now? If you feel anger, then you get to do process blue. When you rewire your brain in that way, listening to that 22 minute process, you'll leap up into the violet and the white on the chart of emotions, the space where joy is and the space as Abraham Hicks so likely puts it, where you will co-create and attract your desires even though you're still in that little bit of a mess. So the mess can be changed, but your vibration has to change.